Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how enlargement and reduction transformations are used to create similar figures, which are figures with the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. Coming up. So let's start with an opening problem. Jason cut two triangular slices of cheesecake and gave one to his sister, Sarah. That's not fair. Sara said, your slice is bigger than mine. Jason used the ruler and measured the sides of each slice. See, my slice has sides of 5 cm, 6 cm and 7 cm. And so does yours. That means the slices are the same size. Not necessarily, said Sara. The slices might have the same sides, but the angles might be different. Pause the video and comment below. Who do you think is correct? And what mathematical arguments can you use to justify your answer? All right, stick around because I'm going to give you the answer at the end of the video. Okay, let's consider an example. The triangles below are clearly not the same size, but they do have the same shape. Their side lengths are in the same proportions. So B is an enlargement of A and C is a reduction of A. When A is enlarged to B, the lengths are doubled using a scale factor of K equals 2. K is just a constant of proportionality. You can refer to it as the scale factor. When A is reduced to C, the lengths are halved using a scale factor. K is equal to half. So don't be concerned too much about the constant of proportionality, this value of K. All you need to know is a scale factor, whether it's an enlargement or it's a reduction. We refer to this as a scale factor. The scale factor indicates the amount by which an object is enlarged or reduced. If the scale factor is greater than 1, an enlargement occurs. And if the scale factor is less than 1, a reduction occurs. So make sure you pause the video here and you copy those notes into your book or wherever you're making your revision notes. Now moving on, let's look at an example. If A is enlarged or reduced to A dash, we say that A is the object and A dash is the image. The figures do not need to have the same orientation. So make sure you pause the video here and you attempt to answer um, these two statements for each of these five questions. Okay. State whether the transformation from A to A dash is an enlargement or reduction and find the scale factor for the enlargement or reduction. Okay, so if you attend to those in your book, you should have the following answers. For the first question, it's an enlargement by a scale factor of two. For B, it's a reduction by a scale factor of a half. For C, you have an enlargement of a uh, by scale factor of three. For D, you have a reduction by a scale factor of a half. And the final one, you have an enlargement by a scale factor of two. Now remember the orientation doesn't have to be the same. So let's move on to similar figures. The word similar suggests a comparison between objects which have some but not all properties in common. In mathematics, similar figures have the same shape but not necessarily the same size. So in this example, you can see that these two figures have the same shape but not the same size. And in fact, they have a different orientation. So this one's an upside down image of the original object and it's an enlargement. So we can define similar figures as two figures are similar if one is an enlargement of the other. Now remember here, an enlargement can also be a reduction. When a figure is enlarged or reduced, the sizes of the angles do not change. Now you can see that in the example here illustrated. As a triangle, as it enlarges or reduces in size, the angles stay the same. That's true for any figure or shape. So to summarize, two figures are similar if the figures are equiangular and the corresponding side lengths are in the same ratio. Make sure you pause the video here and you copy these notes into your book. Okay, moving on, let's look at an example. Determine whether the following pairs of figures are similar. So here we have a rectangle, A, B, C, D. 
and we have an image a dash b dash c dash d dash a to b is four centimeters and b to c is two centimeters and the corresponding sides a dash b dash six centimeters and b dash to c dash three centimeters so pause the video here and attempt to answer this question by yourself okay so if we consider this shape let's select a pair of corresponding sides i'm going to go with a dash b dash and its corresponding side would be a b so that gives me six over four six over four that can be simplified to three over two now let's compare another set of corresponding sides we'll take b dash c dash b dash c dash over b c now that's going to give me three over two because you see that's three and that's two now you can take any corresponding side so you could have done um, c dash d dash over C D, um, you could have done A dash D dash over A D or whatever a set of corresponding sides. It doesn't really matter. But make a note that I've done the image over the object, and then again, image over the object. So I've kept that consistent. Now, therefore, we can say that the corresponding side lengths are in the same ratio, three over two, three over two. The figures are also equal angular. You can see each of these have 90 degrees and the image also has 90 degrees. So the figures are similar. Let's look at a second example. Determine whether the following pairs of figures are similar. So we have a set of triangles here. We've got ABC, two centimeters, three centimeters by four centimeters. And then you go A dash, B dash, C dash, four centimeters, um, nine centimeters by 10 centimeters. Now, pause the video here and attempt the question for yourself. Okay, so I chose to do the corresponding sides A dash, B dash, which is here, A dash, B dash, over AB. That's my corresponding side. So I have four over two, which is from here, four over two, which simplifies down to two. Let's choose a second set of corresponding sides. I'm gonna go with uh, B dash C dash. So that's that length there, nine centimeters. And that's gonna be the corresponding side is BC, which is three centimeters. So nine over three, which can simplify to three. Now you notice this set of corresponding sides has a ratio of two. This set of corresponding sides has a ratio of three. So therefore the corresponding side lengths are not in the same ratio. The figures are not similar. Because the corresponding side lengths are not in the same ratio, the figures are not similar. Now, if you stuck with me this far, uh, like I promised, I'll go back to the original question, the opening problem, and see whether you actually got this right. So remember, Jason said that he measured, um, he got a ruler and he measured the size of each slice. He said his slice had five centimeters, six centimeters by seven centimeters, and so does his sister Sarah's. So let's fill in that information. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my triangles. And if we label it, and I've chose to label it A, B, C, and then the corresponding um, slice would be A dash, B dash and C dash. So now let's see if you can set this up to answer the question, what mathematical argument can you use to justify your answer? So do you think Jason's right? Or do you think Sarah's right? Let's go back and check what you wrote down in the comments and in your books. Um, and then let's go through this together. So I'm gonna set up a corresponding side, A dash, B dash over AB. That gives me a five over five. Let's fill the information up, which gives me a side length ratio of one. And let's choose a second set of corresponding sides. I'm gonna go with uh, B dash C dash over BC. So that's B dash C dash over BC, which is six over six. That gives me a side length ratio of one, which therefore means that the corresponding side lengths are in the same ratio. Therefore, the figures are similar. Now in setting this up, you can always go for the third length, uh, A dash C dash over AC 
to see if that matches up as well. And in this case, seven over seven, which gives me a length ratio of one, which is works out. So as always, thanks for watching the video. If you found it helpful, drop me a like and comment. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and make sure you watch the next part where I go through congruent shapes. See you in the next one. <laughs>